Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be doing a sandstorm in Blender 2.8. So my attempt was to make something like uh, from the mummy where you have this uh, face coming out of the sandstorm. But uh, yeah, because of my computation limitations, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, so I just settled for what I did here, as you can see. I think it came out uh, pretty good for something that I did under two hours. So, da, 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 da. Yeah, so you can see some of the renders, uh, preview renders I have. You can see how this storm uh, starts to propagate. Yeah, I had added uh, the skull there, but uh, the problem with that is that uh, you need quite a lot of particles uh, to be able to start to see uh, the skull itself. And you can see it from in the beginning there, uh, but uh, it's not, I don't have enough resolution for this mob, uh, for this skull to, to really be there. And uh, if you look closely at uh, this mummy animation, you can see most of it is not just small particles. Uh, some of it you can see some uh, large chunks of maybe uh, dust particles in there. So, yeah, it's, it would be really hard to do without that. And I, it might, it, it also does look like uh, they use some kind of mesh. Maybe not. But uh, yeah, so if I wanted to have that appear, I would have to increase uh, the resolution of uh, my uh, smoke and also add in some actual particles, uh, mesh particles, uh, so that the, the shape of the skull comes out uh, more clearly. Uh, but uh, for now, let's just look at how I made the sandstorm. So <clears throat> let's uh, look at the simulation here. Let me play this back for you so that you can see. It's a very, very simple setup. Of course, there is the smoke uh, domain, which is basically using... A, let me first talk about the domain set. Maybe let me, let me start from ground down. Gr ground up, sorry. Isolate this so that this plays faster okay so i'm going to play it faster but uh, let me show you how i set up that that dust storm to roll in like that so i have this mesh here uh, which is basically a, a cylinder if I turn off some of these a cylinder like this uh, animated moving forward uh, actually is parented to uh, this skull uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's parented to this empty. So when this empty moves forward, uh, this moves as well. But uh, it gets I also gave it uh, a rotation around the x-axis like that. So when this is moving around, it's also rolling, as you can see from the wireframe here. And uh, then I wanted the particles to be emitted from from this while it's rolling, so that you can, if you look closely. You can see some dust particles falling. Uh, I don't know if I can use. No, I can't. Can't use the glitz pencil here. But I, uh, uh, you can see some dust falling from uh, up down like that. Yeah. So that that effect there is caused by this rolling. So there is that. Let me. They are more visible here. Let me see if I. Yeah. You can. You see around here the particles just like uh, shooting out of this and then rolling and rolling and rolling as you can see there same with this especially here you can see it even, actually is even much better here you can see those trails of particles which i think add more realism to uh, the entire simulation so uh, you get those by having this roll row and because it has a particle a particle system uh, which is going to be the source of our smoke uh, the smoke will trail uh, those particles uh, why are they not showing display 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 put display Anyway, 
So, okay, I'm not sure why they're. Did I? I must have disabled the particle system, yeah. So, because these particles are emitted from a rolling object, they have that uh, momentum, uh, they take that momentum with them and transfer it to the small particles, which you see also having those uh, trails like that, producing those trails like that. And uh, <clears throat> because this sun, uh, this, uh, this uh, smoke dust, is supposed to be rolling over uh, a surface, a landscape, or ground, like you see in the in this video here. Let me just as it rolls over the ground, you expect it to bounce off. And uh, so, what I did because I didn't want this emit these particles to be emitted down, I gave this. Uh, let me see, get this, uh, let's see, a displacement modifier, so, ha so so as to have, so that it's not a, so that the smoke is not evenly uh, emitted uh, to have a, a cylindrical effect. I wanted it to be a bit more uh, turbulent, especially in the up areas here. Otherwise, if we just emit directly from a perfectly cylindrical surface, excuse me, Sorry about that, but uh, if I emitted this from a perfectly cylindrical uh, surface, uh, then the smoke would also be perfectly cylindrical. It may not, it, it would look like it would take on the shape of the cylinder. So I didn't want it to be perfect. So that's why I added in that turbulence uh, using the displacement modifier. But I made sure that uh, the displacement modifier only affected uh, the top areas because I didn't want that to be transferred down here. But I also wanted this bottom surface to be flat as it would be rolling over like a like a like a tie like a, a tear you know uh, so the flat surface is always more flatter sorry the bottom surface is always more flatter than uh, the other surfaces that don't have uh, that pressure on them so for that I used this lattice modifier let me see if I can access that I use this lattice to control uh, the mesh. So if you don't know about lattice, if you don't know how to use lattices, I think I have a tutorial on that. So just made that, search for a tutorial about that uh, so that you know how to use them because I think they can be useful sometimes. Uh, then, yeah, so, so as you can see, this turbulence is mostly at the top. It's not at the bottom here because if I added it to the bottom, it will start to intersect with the surface i wanted this to be flat because uh this the particles hit the ground they don't penetrate the ground they'll just roll over the surface uh creating that flat surface so uh, to make that work i use a vertex group for the displacement modifier let me show you how that works if you look at uh, the vertex sorry the weight paint for this uh, so i'm using a weight proxy i think it's called uh vertex weight proximity uh, with uh, the ground object I have in, in my scene, this plane here, as the target object. And then, So that gives me a gradient. Uh, let me select this. So when I move away from this surface, I can't move. Okay, at least it seems I can't move this object I can't move at the surface while I'm in weight paint, but uh, see when I move this because it's affecting the weight gradient of this object, you can see how the turbulence is also affected. So that introduces some turbulence to the smoke and uh, make it flatter at the bottom here. Then what else did I add? Uh, then I created the particle system, which is very simple. Let me just talk about the settings I used there. So 5,000 particles, a lifetime. I didn't change much here. Uh, for the source, I made sure that I turned on use modifier stats so that 
uh, the particle simula simulation takes in consideration uh, these other modifiers above it. Then, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I, I made sure that uh, the object velocity was one so that the particles, uh, the, the particles take take on the, get their initial velocity from the movement of the mesh. And uh, I think that's it for those particle settings. Uh, I did this, these two share the same particle settings. So, yeah, that's it for the particle settings. I ho also have this uh, the skull animated to uh, to kind of open its jaws a bit like that. Like uh, because I was trying to go for this uh, for this animation here for this scene here, but uh, yeah, it needs a lot of computation power to handle this kind of stuff. Uh, so I didn't it it didn't. I didn't end up uh, adding the resolution necessary to uh, to have that skull appear. Then what else? What else? What else? So we have the particles now. The smoke emitter. Uh, so these two here are using a fluid type flow, smoke inflow, uh, using the same particle system that we have set up. Uh, the size and the source velocity. I didn't want them the, the smoke to have too much velocity because remember this is supposed to be sand. It should be more heavier than smoke. So it doesn't, you, you want, you don't want it to rise up too much or you don't want it to have a lot of uh, velocity. So that's why you see that uh, my initial velocity is quite low. And then uh, the temperature, initial temperature. So this is, uh, it's the temperature that makes it look like smoke or fire or sun. So fire has higher temperatures, meaning that uh, it rises faster than any other uh, surface. Uh, I think I have some uh, fire simulations uh, that I did just to show you uh, the difference here. Let me see if I can find those. We have been doing quite a few simulations. Maybe I could find some of it. So this is the, maybe I could use uh, this dragon simulation. Actually, that's, yeah, let's, let's go with this. Uh, if you didn't see this video, it's, it's already up on the channel. You can watch it, how to make a dragon breathing fire. You can see, so the difference between smoke and dust, or fire and dust is that, uh, Smoke has a higher temperature, meaning it it uh, rises faster and also moves very fast. So, if you compare this, you can see how slow our dust moves compared to the smoke in this scene or the fire in this scene. Also, this uh, video is going to be available as a time lapse on my second channel, uh, Blender Money. So, if you want to watch the entire process, you can. And uh, the other previews that I'm not showing here, you can go watch that. Uh, so you can watch the iterations. So you can see that uh, the smoke rises and moves really faster than what we have. And uh, the way to control that is uh, by using the uh, your temperature. So if you go under the fluid simulation, you can see my temperature is 0 0.1 and uh, you have different, you have a, you have a, a temperature control are uh, using where is my temperature? Yeah, this using the source of the fluid, and I also have temperature control using the domain system. So under the domain, uh, you want to change. Let me just talk about the uh, the settings I used. I played down with, uh, I picked down the time scale just to make it a bit slower, uh, to make it even slower than uh, than fire. So that or dust to make it look like dust. I made it also slower, uh, the simulation slower, and. Uh, the settings here are very basic. I can see my buoyance is really, really low. Uh, if you move your cursor over these settings, they will tell you what they do. You can see here it, it says a buoyance falls based on smoke density. Higher value results in too faster rising smoke. So I made sure that uh, I reduced that significantly so that it, my my dust doesn't doesn't behave like smoke. Same with heat. Buoyancy falls. Uh, buoyancy heat based on smoke. Based on smoke heat. 
uh, high values result in uh, higher rising smoke. So I made my values really low so that uh, my dust uh, doesn't rise too high. Uh, so, so that it behaves like dust or sand. Uh, then the, the vorticity, which is turbulence. I added some bit of turbulence there. I just saw, yeah, we get that turbulence in there. And I think that's it for the most part. Uh, there is no fire here. So uh, the other thing left to do is uh, setting up the lights and uh, which is, I guess, have two area lights uh, to have some variation in, because if you don't have any lights, it will just look too plain. And uh, yeah, my lights should have moved maybe a bit so that uh, we don't see this high point light uh, there. But I think for the most part, I think it looks good. Yeah, so that's how you do a dust storm. I don't really have any, you could add a ground and everything, but I didn't want to do that to take up a lot of time. So yeah, again, uh, the time lapse will be available on my second channel and the project will be available on Patreon if you want to get that and also support the channel. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to learn more about this and I'll see you in the next video.